boom, yay, big slink, hey, boom. <laughs> So there's a stupid energized harvest reaper now that I logged in that apparently is in this spot. Someone had killed it last time and it attacked me so I had to run away. This is vengeance for hitting me. Unprovoked. There we go. Peace. I don't... Oh, you don't even get loot from them because they are meant for that quest. And immediate despawn. That's annoying. Okay, so let's see here. Broken barrel. This looks like the right barrel. This torn piece of parchment contains scribbled writing. Good work, treasure hunter. Searching through the barrel, you discover another piece of parchment. This one reads, Now from this here barrel, face ye north, straight as the crow flies. Keep ye walking till you see the empty jug next to the lone windmill on the sea bluffs. If ye poke around that jug, ye must might f ye, ye, ye just might find what you're looking for. Search the empty jug next to the windmill for the next clue. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to World of Warcraft Westfall. Oh, all the way up there. This this quest is taking us all over. No, numlock, there we go. Out of run, so I can drink. <laughs> So to later today I will be editing the last episode of Pikmin. It's over a half hour long. Over it's like 34, 35 minutes or something. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, here, energized harvest reaper, it's the same. Oh! Sorry. I don't know. Are, are vultures aggressive? Like in real life? I I kinda would assume they'd be, but I mean they're not predators. They are um, scavengers, so... But I, I guess they're still aggressive. Like, they wouldn't attack people <laughs> like, like that one did me. I mean, most of the time they wouldn't be flying alongside the ground. They'd be really high up in the sky looking for dead creatures. Here's the windmill. For dead creatures to eat. Hmm? Oh, River Paw Scout. They look so... <sighs> They look so different now, the, like the gnolls, they are taller, they're like more lean, they used to be more like compact. But he, he was looking so like tall, so I thought it was something else at first. I haven't gotten used to it yet, <laughs> they've only been there for a little while. In that way for a little while. Here we go, an old jug. Uh -huh. Here's the priest. There's a clue sticking out of the empty jug. You're on your way to the jackpot, treasure seeker. Sure enough, deep within the old jug, there is another clue to Sanders' treasure. The ink has run in s Oh, the priest got that one. The ink has run in some places, and the paper smells like whiskey, but you can make out some of the text. Now that you found me old whiskey jug, you're almost to the treasure. Just face west from the bottle and walk down to the shore. Once you get to the water, keep going. Swim straight west till you find the island with me treasure chest. Locate Captain Sanders' chest and open it for your reward. And we get a lot of things. Hoo-hoo! Nice. So... Oh, the mouse! <laughs> Just avoid the murlocs. As much as possible. Murloc netter, yeah, especially that one. He can probably trap me a bit. So it's the island out there then, I suppose. Oh, right, I don't have, uh, I don't have, uh, oh, I've actually never seen uh, the swimming uh, animation on this mount before. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's cute. I don't have uh, water running, like, mount equipment. Oh, come on. Stupid murloc. I was gonna use my water mount. W one of my water mounts. Since last time... I did get the fish, I think, because last zone we did was, um, uh, <laughs> that doesn't look very comfortable for Kifina. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I always kind of liked how the imps swim. 
Oh, there's the priest. I'm getting there first. I have a water mount. <laughs> Whoop. No, but I, I did get the fish. I, I, I can show it later. Here we go. The lost treasure of Captain Sanders awaits. The hinges on the old chest are rusty, but they still work. You force the chest open and take the booty. Congratulations! So, a new belt, a silver bar, a shirt, and a new bag. Yay! We finished the treasure hunt! So, do I need them though? So, the belt... Let's say, yeah. Oh, the crime scene tape. Wow! Item level 7 to 22, and it's only, I'm only a few levels higher. That's kind of a lot of... a big different difference. Um, and the bag... Oh, the bag just automatically equips itself. Right, but it's an 8-slot bag, so... Whoops. I kind of want to switch it to over there. There we go. Collecting bag. <laughs> Grape picking sack. Small brown pouch. We have one more... No, that's the equip... Uh, that's the reagent bag. So we have full normal bags. So they added a new thing with uh, this last expansion, which is a reagent... You can have an extra bag, but it's only for reagents. So you can't keep, like, gear and other, like, food. Normal loot in it. Only things for professions. <laughs> but that, those bags are a bit more difficult to come by here early game. So this shirt, is it something I want to wear? Uh... It's a bit difficult to see. Okay, if we remove the coat. So this is the red shirt. This is... Is it skin colored or just white? I mean, I'll wear it because it's a bit more rare than the red linen shirt. I guess. Uh, sure. We'll go with that. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So let's see if we can get... No. 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 Dark water skate, no. Surf yelly, no. 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 Not the subdue seahorse, no. No. Not the salt water. Here! The briny bottom feeder. Yeah! Woo! After so much fishing at that guy in Dalaran. Oh, I finally got this. It's a cool f uh, underwater mount. It's too bad you don't get to use your underwater mounts that often. But I really do like this one. It, it, it feels worth it. So... Now... I'm thinking we go along, along the beach. And, oh no, not the murlocs. Like, if I go down on the beach, you get the murlocs. If you go up in the hills, you get the gnolls. The only safe places to travel really is inland, but then I have to go all the way inland and then all the way out. Outland? <laughs> no, back to the shore again. Just don't dismount me, please. Oh no, there was... There was a murloc there. <laughs> They're everywhere! There are murlocs everywhere! Okay, only nine... Eight more minutes until the Westfall mud pie buff thing runs out. I wonder if it's gonna do anything. Or if it... Like, sometimes you have, like, the character have an effect or something when... Weird food buffs like that wear, wear out. But sometimes, like, I don't... It doesn't do anything. It only says your stomach is rumbling, so... Maybe the character will, like, fart or... <laughs> something will happen when it runs out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No! No! Don't come at me! Rip. Ow! Oh, there's another one. Oh, but it just spawned in, so it didn't see me. Oh, damn it. Too many murlocs. <sighs> so, as of recording this, my last two YouTube shorts, I, I upload a YouTube short every Saturday, uh, as it currently is. My last two really didn't do well at all. Like the one from last week. It currently has 16 views, and the one from yesterday, it's at like, 3, 4? I mean, sometimes it takes like 2-3 days for them to take off, but the doesn't look very good for either of them. Well, especially not the one from last week, this other one still has time. But I, I just don't know, sometimes they're huge successes and... 
I don't know like how to deal with it really. How, how do I, how is it the title? Here we go, Westfall Lighthouse in the south. We only need to discover this area behind the, the dead mines here, up in the hills, up over there, and then we've explored the entirety of Westfall. So here's Captain Grayson. No, but like seriously, I don't know like how to title something that get it's not only especially with the shorts it's not on, it's not only about what people click on it's also a lot about like what automatically ends up when people are looking through shorts i guess like i don't understand i don't know how to do it so it's just random luck for me oh but because he uses That was weird. Was it from... It sounded like it came from a ship or something. But I don't see any ships. None whatsoever. Hmm. I was about to say, Captain Grayson here uses an old... model. Like... Because I think he has like a special unique pirate model that they made, but they made him in ghost form. And they just haven't updated it because so few, so few NPCs uses it. Do not be alarmed, human. I have long since passed from this land, but I intend no harm to your kind. I have witnessed too much death in my time. My only wish now is for peace. Perhaps you can help my cause. I, I used to be flesh and blood, just like you, Missy. That is, until that fateful day when the Murlocs attacked the lighthouse. Ooh, 250 quests completed. Mm. You probably noticed all along, uh, all of the shipwrecks along the coast. The great sea is treacherous indeed. The coast of Westfall needs to be kept clear, so that if sailors find their way to our beaches, they are safe. The Murlocs are trouble, though. Kill Malak Tidehunters and Oracles, and I will see to it that you are rewarded. Mm-hmm. And, oh, even more. The night the lighthouse keeper's family died was horrible. I watched helpless as old Murkai led the attack. But what's done is done, and now my concern is for the lives of the sailors on the great sea whose ships come close to the perilous rocks of, of the coastline. With no... There was again. With no one to keep watch on the flame, the responsibility has fallen upon me. Help me keep the torch lit by bringing me chasm o's from the slimes in the raging chasm to the northeast. Bring five chasm o's to the Captain Grayson. To Captain Grayson, not the Captain Grayson. Oh, there's the priest again from earlier. To Captain Grayson at the Westfall Lighthouse. Choose mana or health potion. Hmm, the tiniest ones. And scroll of intellect and stamina. That feels very old school wow to get those as quest rewards. When my life was ended upon the rocks, I had no clue what the afterlife held for me. The lighthouse was black that night because old Murkai had scared the keeper's family off. They returned and uh, and relit the flame, but old Murkai cursed the weaker minded Murlocs to raid the lighthouse with him once again. The second time the family was not so lucky, and before my eyes they perished helplessly. Slay old Murkai if you see him along the shore, and bring me one of his scales, and I shall reward you. Bring a scale of old Murkai to Captain Grayson at the Westfall Lighthouse. So, a torch, that's better than the candle? Or a better wand? This gives more things. I guess because the candle is item level 9 and my wand is 19, so... Well, candle, it, it's a dynamite. It's a stick of dynamite. I still have it on my side there. <laughs> Ooh, thank it's a long fuse. <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, oh, there's old Murkai. Let's kill the, the boss guy. He, so he's he's actually a Hearthstone card in Hearthstone. A legendary Murloc card. Oh. And he does have quite a bit of health here. Old Murkai becomes enraged, and then he died. And I got his scale. So, 
Also, we did get a quest to uh, head to uh, the Raging Chasm there and kill those big oozes that we saw. Uh, won't have time for that this episode, though. Burn. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Do Murlocs ever keep their eyes closed? I can't remember seeing something like that. And you get a Chaos Bolt. Da -ba -da -bum. <laughs> oh. Almost the same time of death there. And all of you shall burn with Immolate. Immolate for you all. Blast. And blast. And blast. Oh. Oh, you came back for another round. Well, well, yeah, let's just go with the Chaos Bolt here. Of course you respawn in this spot. Splash! You can't splash me. Oh, not again. Tidehunter and Oracles. Oh, not in line of sight. Fine. There you are. I'll kill these dudes. And then I'll actually eat some food, just some small, a small pumpkin and drink some refreshing spring water, even though I don't need... You don't really need drinks anymore in World of Warcraft. I, I don't, I seriously don't understand why they still keep them around. Because, like, no matter what class you play, you never lose your mana anymore. It pretty much stays full at all times. Even, like, the most mana, l l like, losing characters are healers, I guess. And that's only when they do, like, high-end raiding. Other than that, there's not much more... Like, I... I can't... It's almost impossible to get rid of all of your... Uh, of your mana. Like, you can't cast spells quickly enough. Oh. Krigson... Krigon Talzone. Fisherman. Oh, hello. I'm I'm fine. You wanna you wanna buy some stuff here? Some old things I no longer want or need. Silver bar. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the auction house and sell that. Some old gloves, linen cloth. Let's check these clams first. Oh, uh, crap! I do need to end the episode. Right. Uh, no pearls. We'll sell these. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah, Yeah, Watch a video.